What's up everybody? If you're new to my channel, I'm Artist Boozy and we do art and get creative with it. So if you like crafts, painting, drawing, anything like that, you should totally stick around. And in today's video, you're probably wondering, what the heck are we doing? Nah, you already read the title. But if you didn't, I'm going to let you know anyway. Let's get into what we're doing today. A Dollar Tree do-it-yourself wreath. So I got this sign and I got this handy dandy little thing right here that you wrap everything on. And I bought a bunch of glitter tool. So let's get into that and show you what that is. I got three blue, two pink, two yellow gold, and I got two of these silver. I don't know if I'm going to use the gold and the silver. We'll just see how it looks when it's, um, why we're doing it in the process. And I will say you need pipe cleaners, which I forgot to grab. So I'm going to use some full orange ones and hope they don't show through. So let's get into it, shall we? What's up, everybody? Voice list boozy coming at you because I woke up with no voice today because that is just my luck. So if I sound like a dying hyena at any point in this video, I apologize in advance because it's annoying to me as well. I start off by cutting these at the six inch line. It's okay if it's not perfect. And I just do that until the roll is completely gone. And if your last piece is a little bit bigger than six or a little bit smaller than six, it's all right because you're gonna roll them up anyway. And also I just wanna say those are my mom's hands because those were right-handed scissors, and I was struggling so bad. Your girl's left-handed, so that just wasn't going to work out. But it's all right. We look at everything as a positive, and left-handers are the most unique and creative people, so there's that. The next step is rolling these into a bunch of little taquitos, and my mom said this wouldn't work, but it did for me. As long as you roll it up and you pull them tight and pinch, they stay, and it was super duper helpful because it saved me a bunch of time instead of doing it one at a time. Now, spoiler alert, I did use the silver and you can't pre-roll the silver because it's thicker and it just does not want to stay. So you got to do this one at a time, but it still saved me on a bunch of time doing it this way. And I suggest doing it this way. If you use this I didn't film the whole process of these because I know it gets kind of annoying to watch repetitive things and it gets a little boring. So I sped it up and I didn't speed the whole process, just a little bit to show you. Okay, so I could one of these, one of these, one of these. Wrap it like this. My mom did this as an example of this. I ended up using three rolls of blue, three rolls of pink, two rolls of the yellow gold, and two rolls of the silver. So if you want to use that, if you make one, that's how many I use. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rolls in total. And I don't know if you can see all that glitter. The glitter was everywhere from that glitter tool. It was, there was a pile of it on my shorts, on the floor, on the table. It was a hot mess, but guess what? It ain't a good project if there ain't glitter everywhere. I'll tell you that. I love some glitter and some sparkles. It ain't fun if it's all dull and boring. This is very repetitive, you just, Roll one of the silver, take one of each, put them on with the pipe cleaner as tight as you can. And I was getting really, really nervous with this because I wasn't sure how many to put on each section. And I was kind of doing like four or five in each section and it was looking like very steep through when I picked it up, like very transparent. That glitter tool is very transparent. You can see right through it, even when it's rolled. But once I started bulking it up there at the end, it ended up looking super duper good and I was so proud of it. It looked so cute. And don't worry about the orange full pipe cleaners. I was getting nervous about that too, but you cannot see them. They're hidden. So that's so good. 
I was a little scared to use one because orange in it and it looked kind of juicy. And yes, the wreath, my tool that I already had on kept grabbing the tool piles and I had to keep pulling it apart. It was super duper annoying. But it's alright. I had to keep separating them, but it was worth it because it looks so cute when it's done. But my patience was getting pretty thin with it because it kept happening every other second. Different angle for you here. And if you see me stop and look at the TV a couple times, it's because I have the Ted Bundy tapes on. Because when I'm crafting and doing things like this, I like to listen to stuff like that. Like when I did my Halloween series, I watched the Jeffrey Dahmer one and the John Wayne Gacy one. And I finally finished the Bundy one, so that was exciting. That man was crazy. A little bit time consuming, but if you have nothing to do and you need something to occupy your time and you want something cute and worth the hard work, go ahead and do one. It's fun and it's only a couple bucks from the Dollar Tree. A dollar twenty-five. I hate that they did that, but it's all right. We're still saving money, baby. Oh man, I just realized there isn't going to be a signature time baby at the end. I can't sign a wreath. That's alright, we'll save it for next week. I was cutting my pipe cleaner smaller because they kept getting tangled and I was running away. Use what you got, people. I was not about to make another trick. I was ready to finish this project. I stayed up working on this thing till like 4 in the morning one night. I've been working on my videos on Saturdays because I work during the week. So Saturdays are crafting videos and filming and Sundays are editing. What kind of a Use a generous amount of hot glue when you do this so that your pipe cleaners don't fall off. I put a drop of hot glue and then I put the pipe cleaner down and put more hot glue on top of it. And then I tied them babies super duper tight. Tied them suckers tight, baby. You don't want your sign falling off now, do you? Thank you for watching so much. Alright guys, here are the final results of the do-it-yourself Dollar Tree wreath. I'm absolutely love, love, loving it, actually. Because when I first started, I was super nervous because I started un unraveling these really pretty colors. And they were like really see-through. And I only put so many so I could make sure I had enough. And then I went through and bulked it up. But I was getting super duper nervous that it was going to be see-through and it was going to look really terrible. But... I'm pretty proud of my very first wreath, guys. I hope you guys like it, too. If you guys like it, please like and subscribe and come back every Wednesday for some artsy-fartsy fun. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next week.